Hello friends, welcome to another episode of Trading the Markets with Jay Flores. Thank you very much for tuning in this beautiful Sunday. Uh, I'd like to apologize, I'm having problems again with this uh, recording system, Screencast-O-Matic. Um, I'm supposed to have a uh, membership, but now it's telling me that I only have 15 minutes, so I'm going to have to hurry this time. I just wanted to make sure that I do the video for you guys. I want to welcome all the new subscribers and um, and uh, you know traders who are getting with the with our group and getting into the group. I am using multiple time frame system, best trading system in the world, hands down. Very easy to use. We have a set of rules you got to follow, and you'll be successful, no problem. Obviously, you got to be disciplined. You got to learn. Um, how to discipline yourself you got to work in psychology a little bit follow the system follow the simple rules and you'll be on your way you know to start making pips like Tim with Irvin says hundreds and hundreds of pips okay so that's what we can um try to do this week too so I can analyze the uh, uh, same pairs that I was doing last week uh, we're gonna start following up you know a few pairs for a few weeks then um, we change the pairs and stuff like that so we're going to start with the USD Mexican Peso. Check it out. I have it right in front. Let's go to the four hour. We know that the master trend is coming down. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we predicted this move and it went like way, way, way high. Okay. So that's, that was very, very good. Hopefully some of you guys took advantage of that. Let me make it a little bigger so we can see it better. So now, now we see that we have um, brothers and sisters right here. Okay, so while we're expecting this week, it's to the market just keep coming down. Okay, uh, if we let's go to the four hour to see this move right here in the in the, I'm sorry in the one hour real quick. Okay, we see that move coming down. Now it's going up. Okay, so my um um my prediction okay it's hard to tell at this point because um it when that we are in the one hour i believe that this market is still going to do one more high i mean it's it's, it's still going to go come down and finish this correction right here but i believe the market is going to do one more high and then drop again so be very careful this week let me move this uh lines right here we're going to use them because anywhere over here and i believe the market can do another high or at least you know to to make like an m shape something like that um but that's according to my personal rules the way i trade okay and then after that we can have this fall now like everything you got to look at news you got to look at everything um um well it's your responsibility to see a news if you're going to go into a trade although we're going with the master trend the market can just easily drop from there okay so you can you can easily drop from there but in my point of view my personal point of view is that the market um that the market can still do another high and then start dropping okay or the market can go low go higher and then drop so if you're gonna sell the market around this area sell with the small lot lots and then once you know that it's gonna keep dropping by breaking this area here then you can add a little bit more but we'll, we're gonna be monitoring this pair very close okay that's where USD Mexican peso let's go to the cat JPY all right, Cat JPY. We let's see the direction we're following. Okay, we're going with the master trend. All right, we're inspecting the market to do exactly that right there. I'm gonna move these lines now. So we're expecting we're expecting the market to do this, and it's doing it. I mean, real, real good. Now it's doing that. Um, side was correction boom boom one two three and then the market can go uh up from there 
at least that's what we're waiting for uh, waiting for the market to do where the monkey can come and visit this area over here okay firstly is gonna touch the MA around this area maybe do another correction then visit another area a little bit higher so that's what we're expecting for the cat JPY this week let's look at the uh, GP and CD the markets are working real real nice look at that move that we uh, predicted um, that was the last week yeah we did we said the market was gonna go up, do a correction and then and then just go to the top what a move so we saw the last two weeks up correction and it went up okay so the markets are behaving real real nice it's, they're trading us real nice okay so let's keep on um, trading that way now we have another opportunity for this week what we're waiting for the market to do is to come down now it's doing a small pullback let's go for the one hour okay let's go for the one hour okay what do I see in the one hour let me see um, okay this is uh what do we say the master trend was in here okay the master's trend is coming down so let's see uh we're waiting for the market to do a small retracement right here complete that retracement and then the market it's gonna keep dropping okay um i see two options here again move this out of here for me that's one option right there okay or I can see the market um, just keep moving sideways right here one two three and it can still do another another high let me, let me see how it looks and uh, you know what no I like it I like it to be ready to drop from there but it can still move you know a little bit sideways then drop a little bit or if it goes a little bit high then drop that's what we're waiting for okay that's what we're gonna leave it right there. So that's GP and CD, and try, I'm kind of going fast because I only got 15 minutes. Uh, Euro CAD. Let's see what we're waiting for that. Okay, look at that. That's perfect moves we um, were predicting last week. Also, let me see. So t -t -t -t, let me get rid of this lines right here. I had this line because I'm saying this. This as this breaks the high over here, it's gonna re uh, retest and go higher. But it did it it came down so we have those two options on, on the line right there so the market was here is going to come down do a retracement and go down that's exactly what the market is doing so why are we waiting for this week to, for your cut to do your cad is uh, your cat we're waiting for the market uh you can drop from there i'm gonna wait for the market to go one more time up one two three and then there's big chance possibility to start dropping farther okay we're gonna see a look at the four hour yeah definitely market is gonna go high uh, higher and we're gonna see if it breaks the high but it's definitely gonna go to the top remember we only go we only trade with the master trend if you're not you got to be an experienced trader if you're going to go against the master trend because uh tr i mean the trend is the trend is the river coming in. you don't want to swim you know against the current of the river or the strength of the river you want to go with the river you know so you don't you don't struggle <laughs> okay U gpsd gbp usd let's see what we got for you usd Okay, so we're gonna go, we're gonna have a retracement and um, then we're gonna go up. Okay, we have a little bit of congestion right there, uh, but I like this market to start going up from there. I really, really like it. So we're gonna expect the market to bounce up. I know it's doing a sideways move right there. Just be ready, can because it still can visit the, this area here. That area I have it marked there like probably three weeks to a month. Well, that's a very strong uh, support, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's gonna visit. Okay, so if it bits at this area, I mean it's definitely a buy from there. But the market can go from there too. We already have a divergence, so we're gonna go. We're gonna check the markets and see. And the last one we're gonna check is Euro GBP. 
your QVP. So wow, look at that move. Look at that move. Something sometimes the predictions that uh, we do it takes a couple of weeks. I mean they don't happen right away. But we said the market was gonna come down, then we're gonna go up and down again. Perfect. Brothers and sisters are amazing. The magic era is incredible. Okay. It happens. You just gotta be patient. You just gotta be patient, that's all. Okay, friends. Well, um we did one, two, three, four, five, six pairs for this week. Um we're waiting for okay <laughs> what are we waiting for the market to do here okay the market can um um i'm a strong believer that the market can still broke this but i think we first before anything i'm gonna use the same lines i think we gotta go below this area over here but for this week we're expecting the market to to rise and let's see what the master trend is. That will be a um, a pullback. You remember pullback? We don't trade pullbacks unless you're a very experienced person and you know exactly what you're doing. Okay. So I'm expecting the markets to go up and then drop lower. Okay. From where it is, maybe to visit this this area over here or this area over here. We'll see what the market does this week. Well, friends, thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to say something, though. Um, I had a couple, um, and I'm so sorry because uh, I had a couple people asking me about this um, Mac D 4C. If you if you Google it, and I'm gonna put it right here. Uh, let me see. If you Google Mac D, see Mac D 4C indicator let me see what you got hopefully we're gonna go to weird place the where is that this one i trade in view but there's one for there is one for mt4 mac d4c indicator for mt4 i think they have just a put down one for um you can find it for mt4 I don't think it's gonna work. Let me see. Trading view. Yeah, you go you go right here and you'll find it. I think that fork factory don't free. I'm sorry to be find it or find it right in front of you guys, but You know what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it in the description this week. Okay. I'm just going to copy it from my uh, MT4. And I'm going to put it in my in my description. I'm only going to have it for one or two weeks. Okay. So hopefully you saw this video. And i also going to put this. um um Trump. Uh, what are they called? This. this one right here trum amazing bar chart okay because that one you can find it in the market like in the marketplace here what the way to do it is uh let me see mm, no no that's not it if you go to the terminal and then let me move this lower hope you have time you go to, to the marketplace right here and then type Trum amazing bar chart and you're gonna have this this um, candles right here if you want to have them those are free from the market um, you just click here and then it's gonna take you to all the cell indicators inside mt4 and you can download it here for free just start typing Trum amazing chart and you'll get it there for free okay so I hope this helped um, thank you very much for subscribing again. Thank you all new subscribers. Please, please. In the middle of the week, we're going to check this uh, trades again. And um, I'm going to continue to uh, try to sharing. Uh, please put your questions. Post your questions on, on the comments area for the video. Thank you so much. I'm running out of time, so I got to leave. God bless you all. Let's make a lot of pips this week. Bye-bye.